What's going on guys? Fun of Thighs back again. And it feels like it's been a long time since I've done a tabletop video. And even longer since I've done a knife discussion video, which this is certainly going to be. Now, this is going to be a short video because all I want to do really is share an observation that I've had. Uh, it's kind of a, a reoccurring thought and it's I've been wanting to do a video about it for quite some time and I never really got around to it. And lastly, it's it's a self-criticism because I am definitely, definitely um, guilty of this as much as anybody else. Now, this whole topic boils down to one word, and that word is efficiency. And the observation that I've had is reviewers, knife reviewers, any type of gear reviewers, uh, and me as well, included in that group, I told you it's a self-criticism, we are much too concerned with the efficiency of an item. And what I mean by that is weight, size, price, anything like that, we're way too concerned with how efficient it is. Now, I want to make this clear. Um, efficiency is a desirable trait in anything. I mean, we want our vehicles to be fuel efficient for the most part. I mean, we want things to be size efficient. We don't want them to be way too small or, or too big for their intended purpose. I get that. But I think a lot of us put way too much stake into the efficient aspect of something. Something like uh, blade to handle ratio. I mean, this has got a three and three quarter inch blade there about, and I mean, close to a five inch handle. And yes, that action is kind of suffering. I need to take it apart and clean it after this video. Um, but that blade to handle ratio isn't terrible. But let's say this blade had a large forward finger choil, this ZT0095. Um, take in half inch, three quarters of an inch off the blade, and you'd get all sorts of criticism from reviewers and probably me saying there's just not enough cutting edge for this package. And maybe you're right in saying that, but maybe you're not. I mean, there's so many different aspects to look at when you buy an item, a gear item, a knife, a gun, whatever, um, that efficiency doesn't need to be the absolute <laughs> um, deciding factor, such as weight. And weight is a huge thing here because a lot of people have their their magic number that they say they just won't carry anything over that weight when it comes to pocket knives. And I think a lot of reviewers, and I've been guilty of this so many times in the past, and I'm really trying to work on it, they, they'll they just disregard anything that they think is slightly too heavy. For example, I could not tell you the weight of this Wee Knives Natita off the top of my head, for which a review is coming up shortly, um, but it's fairly light. I mean, I'd say it's right in the four ounce range um, for a this size of knife seems pretty decent. It's got carbon fiber, titanium, steel, um, so not extremely heavy materials. But let's say this was a steel frame lock rather than a titanium frame lock, and it added a full ounce onto the weight. And let's say it moved it up to the five ounce range, you would hear nothing, and I mean nothing, but complaints about that weight. And I don't know about you guys, but my pockets are definitely not sensitive enough to notice one ounce difference in a pocket knife. I mean, if I weighed my entire EDC, um, with, that comes with phone, wallet, flashlight, keys, all that, you know, it's going to be well over a pound. So I don't think an ounce is really going to move that um, to anything that's too cumbersome. Now, the efficiency aspect becomes way more important when you're talking about things like survival or um, when you're going on long journeys on foot and things like that. But if we truly wanted to be as efficient as possible, we would all be driving Priuses. I mean, <laughs> we would all be carrying Delicas or whatever you think the most efficient knife is for both weight and price and um, blade to handle ratio and all that sort of thing. I mean, we can't focus too much on efficiency and bang for buck. We need to look at the art aspect, the functionality aspect. I mean, just the, the pleasing to the eye factor. I mean, the, the sound that it makes. You've heard people talk about that. The lockup sound, the deployment sound. There's so many aspects to look at that I think efficiency is, it doesn't need to be as high on the prior list, priority list as it is for many people. So I will try to work on that both in knife reviews, flashlight reviews, anything I do in the future. Of course, I'm going to mention weight. And if it's just completely absurd, let's say if the PM2 weighed 12 ounces rather than the four ounces that it does, I think that would definitely be a hit on the design. But when we're talking quarter of an ounce or even a full ounce for things of similar size, similar build, similar materials, I mean, that's, it's really hard to justify a 10 minute video on how freaking heavy, you know, a five ounce knife is compared to a 3.8 ounce knife. So I'm going to try to work on that. And maybe you guys share my thought process here as well. I don't know. It's just something I've noticed. It's, it's, um, 
it's very apparent in the knife world. I mean, weight is a big one, but I'm talking about form factor as well. I mean, just the overall size. I mean, if uh, this War Admiral is fairly wide in the pocket, but I mean, this PM2 is widely regarded as one of the greatest EDC knives of all time. And if you look at the space it's really taken up in this dimension. Obviously the flipper's sticking out more, this is a flipper knife, but I mean, you're gonna get a quarter of an inch more in the pocket with direction. And I don't hear a whole lot of people saying the PM2 is extremely wide in the pocket, like I've heard some people criticize the War Admiral for being. In a lot of ways, this isn't much bigger than the PM2. It's a little heavier, sure, but it's an all metal design with the frame lock. I mean, the, you're kind of comparing apples to oranges here and that's a whole nother discussion. But I appreciate you guys watching. I don't mean to be, um, uh, maybe I do. No, I don't mean to be extremely controversial, controversial here. I don't want to start like a huge war on, on weight or efficiency or anything like that. It's just an observation I've had and I wanted to share with you guys. And I really wanted to get back to the tabletop because I missed this thing that I created, my little background here. How crudely made it is, I still don't care. So thanks for watching guys, as always. And remember, have fun with your knives.